everybody. So in my mind, and something that gets mentioned to me an awful lot is, we've lost something. We've lost a connection. Kids no longer really understand where food comes from. If you ask them, they'll tell you it's a plastic packet from Sainsbury's. You take them to a farm and they're astounded at the difference between a chicken and a chicken nugget. It's not only that. We've also lost a sense of where technology comes from. Take this as an example. This is a hillside full of clay when it rains it all comes sliding down. And it's that grey colour because it has a high alumina content. What we do is we take this, wash it and make stuff out of it. And I've done that in videos where I've come to this very spot. And obviously we can make pots out of it, plates, but they also make tiles for things like the space shuttle. So if you were to ask me what technology is, I would say it was taking those natural materials around you and transforming them somehow into materials that we find more useful. So, we've got a bit of flint. You can tell it's flint, it's surrounded by chalk, it's, yep, it's got a fossil forming in it. If we take that, and just a big stone, we've got something called the Old Oan Tool Kit. It's called the Old Oan Tool Kit because it was found in the Old Oan Gorge. This tool kit was used by the Australopithecine 250,000 years ago. Given the Homo sapiens is about 150,000 years or so, which is debatable, that predates humanity and is a tool kit where we have to transform it by doing that to make ourselves a knife blade. So in my interpretation of things, in order to understand technology, we need to understand its relationship with the world around us. And of course, it's easier to see that relationship when the tools and environment are simpler. And of course, in the Paleolithic, Mesolithic and Neolithic ages, we were essentially using stones. Now, one of the best examples of Neolithic life is in Skara Bray, which is in the Orkneys in Shetland. It's about 800 miles that way. Let's go there. Skara Bray is a stone-built Neolithic settlement located on the Bay of Scale on the west coast of mainland, which is the largest island in the Orkney archipelago of Scotland. It's really ten houses made of flagstones and earthen dams that provide support for the walls. And the houses include stone hearth, stone beds, stone covered. Okay, <laughs> let's go and get that ferry. It was occupied roughly from about 3180 BC to about 2500 BC and it seemed to be Europe's most complete Neolithic village. So with the agricultural land around and right by the seashore you can see why this would be an ideal place to site a village. The real mystery actually is uh, why it was abandoned. It was actually discovered in 1850 when a severe storm hit Scotland and stripped off the topsoil. There was an amateur dig organised by the local laird, William Watt, in 1868, but basically not a lot was done to it until about 1924 when it was robbed, and in 1927 when the University of Edinburgh put Professor Gordon Child in charge of it. Scara Bryce since has become the topic of many, many documents. Entries. It is hugely famous. Of course, it's impossible to get a sense of what these houses were really like to live in. So they've built a replica here at Scarra Bray so you can really get in there and feel what it's like. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> This obviously is the dresser, and then we have the fire in the centre and the bed nooks to each edge. To my mind, what we're looking at when we look at these things is how the materials from the local environment are pulled from the local environment, worked on, transformed into tools and housing and storage and ways of getting and maintaining food. And when we look at the lives that we lead now, actually I don't think it's that much different. I think the processes that were applied in the Neolithic to the tools were much more basic, but what was being done was exactly what we do today. Sure, the processes we apply are more complicated, there are more of them and the needs we have are greater than our ancestors, but I think fundamentally 
we are doing exactly the same thing. So in my mind, understanding that link between technology, the environment and our needs is fundamental to what it is that we need to do. And I think visiting somewhere like Scarabray and getting that appreciation in a physical way, because we are physical creatures in a physical world with physical problems, is key to absolutely everything. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and please do remember to like and subscribe.